Okay, so we're in the uh, fourth quarter, the winter arc. And you want to take back not just your power, but you have put people on notice that I'm about to get into the best shape of your life. And what they do is they laugh. You are the girl or guy that goes to family events or functions and they make fun of you when they see salmon. I don't know why salmon is the most hated meal in this, on this planet and why it's, it's made a case for itself to be, you know, the clown protein animal <laughs> or protein on the food chain. But I think we're all doing a disservice by clowning salmon like that. I know what you got against salmon, bro. That's what I used to say at my work functions. And the first thing people would say, I'll get you some salad and fun. No. If you... Well, firstly, let's just... Before we go there. How do you create your boundaries when you tell people you want to get in shape? Right? How, how do you? Uh, you can't. But here's how you can... Here's how you can actually create boundaries for yourself in any setting. And once again, you have to teach people on how to respect it. And the way you do it is you got to be able to show up to these events because that's not a bad thing to show up. Is you got to already have been working on yourself. You already got to have tried these things separately and in, you know, slowly in small doses, different restaurants with your date, with your more intimate events. You got to have instill some of these and practiced it in real time. It's like a shooting range that I'm actually part of right now in Nevada. So you got to practice loading the gun and then, you know, taking the bullets out of the chamber, fill, filling up the magazine, loading it up, right? You have to practice firing blanks or practice rounds of sh shots, right? These things take time for you to create that, that memory, that discipline memory, right? So, I have often found that as I was, you know, getting chunkier in my early years, I'm in really good shape now, of course, but when I started, not everyone was supportive. In fact, in this path of self-improvement, when you start really getting ahead and you start developing consistent habits, people will feel some sort of way. And the only way I feel and I think because I've been there, done it, is be relentless about your diet. You don't have to necessarily be a complete stickler and you don't have to be a complete Grinch, but if you are following any kind of a fasting, time-restricted eating, intermittent fasting, for example, it's what I do, a lot of things and functions can actually you know, you can negate 99% of this, meaning that you can have the foods you like provided you're following, you know, the protocol, the regime, the system of full fasting, meaning that you wake up in the morning, for example, most events are in the evening, you don't eat for the day. Maybe you have, you just snack, maybe you have fruits, a protein bar, a little bit of protein shake, so you save the bulk of the calories for the later end of the night. No one has to know in that sense that you are on a specific diet, all right? That's one way, because intermittent fasting allows you to be flexible. It allows you to choose, you know, and kind of give or take a little bit. Today, I'm going to be a little carb heavy, I'm getting allergies now. Today, I'm going to have some carbs. My protein may take a hit, but then your calories, you kind of start eyeballing some of these and you eventually figure it out. And your body, of course, will change and show, show itself differently the next day. So fasting is one way. But if you are someone that has to have three, four, five meals a day, it could be a little different. And you have to really watch for people that ridicule you of your journey. Especially people who are already out of shape. Especially people who have no desire to change or improve. But instead, mock you because of your path, because of your motivation, newfound energy and passion. let us I mean, it's not easy to shift into that paradigm, right? 
And so when you do, you, you just kind of have to accept that people won't really always agree with you and see eye to eye. Also be very weary of people who try to advise you on, you know, wrong information or misinformation about foods. Isn't it funny how everyone becomes a doctor or a nutritionist? And yet when you look at them, it's like, what gives you the damn right to give me that advice is because you look like ish. Are you going to tell me how to eat? You know, I used to have this fat ass boss back in my banking days. Um, and I didn't like her, but I had to work with her. And she used to give me like this advice about eating salads and this and that. And every year came and every year went by. She used to tell me how much she loved salads. But man, she kept putting on the weight. So I'm like, is, is this be? is she gaslighting me or what's up, you know? And I hated working with her. But because I had to work with her, I had to report to her, I had to keep putting up with the BS. So the way what I decided to do during that time is really shape up on my diet. The, the short answer to this is how you eat will dictate the results when you, when you are working out, when you are training. Because training is just a small part of the day. The, the magic really happens outside of the one hour, right? The 23 hours in a day. So it's a combination of sleep, walking, nutrition, right? Water. And you have to create some sort of a timetable. So if you go to an event, you can show up, right? And not just leave, but maybe start thinking about your sleep. And that way you can pre-plan how much time you want to allocate to the event. So instead of spending four hours there, you end up spending an hour, an hour and a half. Instead of having three drinks, four drinks, you maybe have one drink and you milk it. Instead of having a you know, plate full of carbs, maybe you choose to have vegetables, protein, and maybe a side order of fruits or something like that. Your boundaries are just as good as your thoughts. So if you are able to enforce it that way, Make sure it's coming from within. It's not, you're not projecting. And I don't think many of us do. I've always had a tough time fending off people uh, during my initial days when I started this journey. And the more they made fun of salmon, the more I would eat salmon. I'd enjoy it. And the noise would get quiet and quiet and quiet. So my results were speaking for myself, meaning that I was wearing nice slim fit clothes, fitted, you know, you put in all that work, you can show your physique a little bit, and you have to go to dressing well as good manners. And uh, my results started to show. And that was the biggest way to shut people up, is the sooner you can get to work, the sooner my results will start to show. Then I started kind of gaslighting the other way, like without intent though, by the way. I couldn't wait to go to these events because I turned the same haters into compliments. They were complimentaries. They're very complimentary on my habits. People know when you're into self-improvement, you know, and you have to be stoic and not move off your rock, your, your stage, your platform. Uh, because there's something to be said when so someone shows up, keeps showing up in this self-improvement space and, and, and the way they show up dressed, the way they show up with their energy, you can't keep that person down for too long. So that's, in my opinion, how you is how you create your boundaries. Is let your results speak for themselves. And you know, if there are people that don't support you and, and don't care, it's time you cut them out like bad like bad food, right? If you have a bad diet, you're gonna have to cut out certain foods. So you have to look at people the same way. You have to cut them out and find new people new people that are in the same road or ahead and that's how you not only get inspired but you inspire others and you create connections that way all right folks i'm gonna wrap my walk up here as i make a right and into a noisier part of the street probably a good time to cut this video in the 10 minutes i love you all and thanks for watching mamba out <laughs>